is November 29th, 2020. Uh, I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bird Podcast. We're just sure like episode number uh, uh, 579. And maybe we will get through this quickly. Maybe? Question mark? I don't know. Should we find out? Where's my thing that would actually sure. be going to this? I don't know. Uh, uh, my thing is like all weird. La la la. It's gone. It's not here. Oh my god, are you kidding Oh, there me? it is. I found it. Strangely enough, this is the one that's always been like that. <laughs> uh, more D&D, &D, more Shadowlands. I started a new campaign on Friday. Uh, DM and a new campaign on Friday. It was eh, whatever, but it, it was new, weird. And the uh, the uh, uh, exciting, and we had more D and D and a lot of Shadowlands because uh, Shadowlands dropped on uh, last Tuesday. Mm. So that's it. That it. That's it. Oh. That's pretty much it. Yay for pandemics! Oh, and and I had to work I on say that. I had to, I had to work on Thanksgiving. What? I had to work on Thanksgiving, and uh, 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 they didn't assign me to do anything, so I technically didn't do anything on Thanksgiving for work. <laughs> I just had to be there logged in in case they had needed me to do something. But never okay. assigned me anything. I got paid time and a half for sitting at my uh, sitting on my couch and watching Super Sentai. It was great. Anyways, moving on. Damon, how about you? What a wonderful and lucky. Good for you. Um, Lord, have mercy. Um, not a whole lot. I mean, it's it's weird. Um, the course is we are technically done for the holiday season, um, meaning we're no longer rehearsing. We're going to have a couple of meetings here in the next few weeks, but everything should be done um emphasis on should be done from a chorus member standpoint meaning you should have your audio recorded and your video recorded i have mine done <laughs> <laughs> i'm fairly sure others do not um uh but um you know it's it was a this was sort of an experiment in a ways um, because, you know, obviously we've never done something like this before. So it was, it's been interesting hearing how things are going and not going um, in regards to um, stuff being done. Um, I felt okay with it. Was it difficult in a sense? Yes, but I also went with the premise, and I hate to say it, and this is me being perfectly blunt and honest. I went with the lazy approach. I was going to get what I could get done, which was everything, and I was going to take as much time as I could to try and get it as good as I could. But I was not going to like stress on making it absolutely perfect. So, um, I don't know. I know my vocals probably weren't the best. Um, and I'm pretty sure my videos were eh, okay. But that's because I knew for myself, if I dwelled on it too much, it would never get done. If that makes sense. Like, I would look at it, I would go, that shit, I would throw it away, and then i try to do it again. I'd listen to that or look at that, do the same thing. Be like, gross, no, no, thank you. Eh, eh. And it, you were, you it, were the like, cycle oh, would continue. This is bad. It's good enough. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Like, this is like, and that's the thing our um, artistic director told us. Like, 
the the video, the audio doesn't have to be perfect because they have ways of fixing that. Like that's the big thing, but that's the most important thing in a sense. But the other part of it, of course, is video, like what it looks like, because it's going to be presenting something. So I will be, our artistic director is confident in the product and I am confident in, again, what I have done and what I've seen briefly of what others have done. So I think it should be fine. The audio will be beautiful. I can tell that just by listening to things that he's already put out. Um, videos will be interesting because what we've learned over time is that people have slowly started not doing everything. They might do all the audio, but they don't do all the videos, which kind of doesn't help with the you know, correlation between the two. So you might have video from like 50 or so people, but audio, or sorry, you may have audio from 50 or so people, but you may only have video from like 30. So yeah, anyway, trying to move things along. We'll see how it goes. It launches December 12th. Um, I will probably try to put a link in the Entourage chat um, once it, you know, drops as it were. Because we are going to do it. It's on YouTube. Launches. Yeah, when it goes live. So um, that'll be that. Um, on the other side of things, as I mentioned, um, food. Uh, <laughs> it was Thanksgiving. Um, I've been eating wonderfully. So wonderful. <laughs> um, the leather group Scorpius that I'm a part of did a, um, we had a small, um thanksgiving dinner slash meeting because we haven't met in months uh, for good reasons mm -hmm. um and our one of our legacy members came into town and her and her daughter ended up making um a great feed, you know food for us um turkey and ham and all the fixings and all the trim trimmings and um, it was a little it was a lot of food and Jim and I left without any. So <laughs> I think I talked about that. this before. <laughs> I've talked about this before. Um, while we appreciate people and events and potlucks and such, um, you always have to be careful about like people wanting to like, cause they, you know, maybe they don't want all of it and we don't either. Cause we're not gonna, we may not eat it. Like it was good food, but we're, it's just always so much and I just, we just did not have, we don't have the capacity to bring in a whole bunch of food and then try to eat it. Anyway, um, then as I mentioned for Thanksgiving, if you follow me on Facebook, um, Jim, uh, I decided not to go home um, for the first time in a long while. And Jim made um, a great Thanksgiving dinner um, for both of us. Um, we had such great food, turkey breast that was cooked in the crock pot, a sweet potato casserole, which was so fucking good. Um, steamed broccoli, um, mashed potatoes with um, smashed red potatoes and with cheese and stuff. So it was really good. It was an amazing time and I am really enjoying it. Um, I will probably have the leftovers tomorrow <laughs> for lunch when I go back to work. And that's me. Gary. Um, I yeah, I had a more relaxing month mm. while, it, while it was busier. Um <laughs> it's funny because this is our fifth Saturday of the month. Mm. So I'm like, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm thinking about like like what all did I do this month? And I'm like, oh well, I um I had my birthday and uh, I had a thank you, a little, little travel for that. Um traveling again <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Um because a, an opportunity was presented and I didn't kinda wanna do the family thing. One family had decided they weren't doing it, the other family um, was probably going to get together, but I never actually got a finalization on that, and I was kind of okay because I don't want to be around them in this current time of COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and while I was gone and off work, our county had the highest reported number of cases in a single day in the entire pandemic. Oh, wow. 
Yes. So um, I don't know what it's going to be like when I go back to work tomorrow, but we shall see. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it was like kind of a, 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 a odd uh, yin yang. Like I had more relaxation this month than I had all like pandemic long. And yet I had more work. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I did some training for work. Um, I worked many, many hours. My paychecks have kind of been the biggest in the past month. <laughs> nice. Good thing. So, good thing. It is. Um, I was trying to plan my budget out for next year, and I figured how many overtime hours I need to work by the end of the year to, like, not really need to work any overtime next year, which I don't expect to next year. Normally, mm-hmm. we don't get overtime, but the pandemic has completely changed things. So, yeah. 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 There's that. So, yeah, no, things have been good. Okay. Um that's kind of it you know i mean we we had a wild month <laughs> between the election and then mm-hmm. you know pandemic holiday and, and all that so oh yeah yeah so we want to get into wish. as i say our feedback section yeah let's do that here we go <laughs> what's been going on over the facebooks uh, we did get two new likes over uh on facebook we would like to thank alejandro ocasio are you any relation to aoc hi um and uh <laughs> and larry okiki i believe is how it's pronounced so thank you both for liking us on the facebook we like it when people like us we do we do Mr. Damon. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. There we go. You know Where how this at? works. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to load the the live chat so I could start looking at it. Um, I thought I had it up, but I didn't. Huh. Anyway, um, we have a new subscriber on YouTube, um, Spike the Slayer Six. Welcome. <clears throat> Yay. We have two new comments um, on COL 578, which was our What is Gratitude. Um, Bobby Miller said, sorry, I missed the live show. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. So thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Um, happy Thanksgiving to you. <clears throat> and then on COL 577, which was our Let's Talk About Food Thanksgiving episode, Owen said, it's you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Or yeah. by you can't hear yeah, that was that was well no it, it was I think he meant but but I misspelled it yeah. Uh, but it, yeah it was in regards to me trying to figure out the, remembered the lyrics to uh, closing time <laughs> ah you don't have to Uh-oh. go home I but thought, you can't stay here I thought it was a subtle shade to like get your ass out of my <laughs> get your ass out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about these giving food, and it's like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> well, you I mean, that now. usually does happen at a family function, and if mm. you, if you have families that have a hard time saying goodbye, oh girl, <laughs> I will admit, one of the good things about not going home for Thanksgiving has been, I got home. "Quote unquote," at a decent hour. Um, <laughs> granted, we technically eat, we ate late, but um, um, there's this thing called CPT um, that my family and I and a lot of people are afflicted with. Um, color people time, Gary. <laughs> 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 I saw your I saw your face. <laughs> I, I, I was I, I admit I was also about uh, about to ask about that. I was like I was like what? I was like oh, you guys oh well, never I, I, I suppose this is the, the, this is the response of 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 okay we're white people what the hell does yeah. that mean? <laughs> yeah, but I so, didn't presume that what it stood for. I mean that was not put on the radar. Okay, so uh, so this is the thing. You you're gay. So, and you're a, a person of color, so that does that like is that it's multiplicative? Stacked. It's 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 no, additive. It, it, it's added. It's just stacked. add additive. It, yeah, it, it stacks a little bit. Yeah, sometimes this so, explains so, so much, add, so much. Yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, I just worked. realized David has to be fashionably late on CPT. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's, he's, fa up. he's the fashionably late for the fashionably late. I ha I can't just show. I mean, I could, but <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so so <laughs> dinner is usually because on Thanksgiving it's usually early, like two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I remember last year. I'm sorry to tell the story. This is going to be a derailing, but um, I usually because um, I don't drive. Um, I usually have to wait for my mom to pick me up, and then we go to the house that we're having Thanksgiving at. Mm -hmm. Um, so dinner was at two, I think, two or three. I cannot remember. Um, I am ready on time in my, in, in my hotel room and I'm waiting because I, I, I knew what time it was supposed to be and I knew when my mom was planning to pick me up. So I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I finally just call my mom because at this point it's been at least an hour or so after we were supposed to already be there. Um, and I ask her what's going on. And she's like, oh, I've, you know, I've, you know, she's taking her time and she's getting stuff ready. Um, I'm like, okay, cool. Just let me know. Another hour later. Um, <laughs> Finally arrives to pick me up. Now, what I didn't know is we didn't have to go back to her apartment because we had to bring the stuff that she was bringing for Thanksgiving to the car and then head out. <laughs> in the meantime, everyone else in the family is at the at the house waiting for everyone <laughs> waiting because dinner. Technically, won't start until the elders get there. Like that's the the the, the general thing. And I, mm -mm. so we finally get there, and my cousin Sean, who is the um, the one closest to my age, I'm here. I think he's a year or two older. Um, he's eaten. Like he's got a plate, and he's already eaten. <laughs> and he he comes up to me like as soon as we arrive and we bring stuff in and he like he's looking at his watch and he's doing that like like what you look you know what time it is and I I have to just like shrug my shoulders and be like this is what happens uh, my mom looked beautiful by the way <laughs> that's that. <laughs> <laughs> My, <laughs> my dad's family infamously is late. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a running thing. Like whoever's organizing it, like, like my cousins, my generation, the grandkids. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, are we, when it says three o'clock, are we eating at three? Are we arriving at three? Like, let's figure this out because infamously some people go and be late. Yes. And my family will not wait. Mm. So like, you bring in something, that's nice. We'll have it for dessert. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like if, you, if you're going to be late. So, yeah, it's yeah. kind of one of those things like, oh, okay. You this know. explains yeah. so, so much. Because you know what my family's are like? like? You'll never get this. We're always early. <laughs> Actually, I would probably get that. Because of the three of us, you are always the one that is on time. I'm like, yeah. like I'm st okay, I'm starting the call. Five. Five minutes later. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Ten minutes it's later. Oh, hi, call. David. <laughs> it's great that you're starting the call. Yeah, so I'm know like, how to be here. Like, I, I got to start the call. It's gonna be there. <laughs> I'm gonna be waiting. Uh, I think because of my family's uh, uh, timeliness, uh, we've it has counteracted my gay time. Well, I will say this much. Um, Sorry, as we, you know, sorry, folks, as we've kind of gone on a rail about like this kind of thing. Well, we'll get to Twitter. We'll I get am, to you Twitter in, the, in a minute. Yeah, but yeah, I have always been. I try to be on time as much as possible. Having said that, 
like for for and and <laughs> fail sound, like eighty percent of the time. Gonna, no, no, no. This is gonna sound kind of shady. <laughs> I am on time for things that I know I need to be on time for. If that makes sense. For example, I am usually early to work. Now, not so much when I'm working at home because um, it's right like there. Um, yeah. Actually, back there, behind here. It takes like, you like 30 seconds hall, to get there. Get there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah. Uh, work, um, certain meetings. Um, I try usually to get the rehearsals um, on time. And it's mostly because I there's, I, again, this is going to probably sound bad, but there's the, it, it reflects on me timing wise. But I try to be early for doctor's appointments. That's, you know, those kind of things. Like there, you know, there are potential repercussions if you're late are tardy. Um, dinner at the family, like, I mean, what? Um, now, I will admit, I wasn't the one that was late. <laughs> I was ready on time. You were ready three hours ago? <laughs> yeah. I was ready on time for my mom to pick me up. <laughs> I had to wait for my mom. <laughs> so, but again, like there, there are things that I probably could have walked you. there in the time that you were. Well, I could have gotten an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Because the landscape has changed that you didn't have to like try to maybe get a taxi or figure out how to hitchhike yeah. there or something. Now yeah. you could just be like, boop, boop, boop. And, boop, you know, boop. And like pick up, yeah. I, I could have probably gotten an Uber now, it would have been an expensive Uber because it was across town. But still, if your mother was right. closer, you could have gotten an Uber to your mom's place and then then helped her to hurry up. <laughs> What's funny, yeah, that didn't even cross my mind <laughs> until you just said it. <laughs> but, but isn't that the way of things? Like, you know, something, but you don't, yeah. Like, like it just doesn't like, register, oh, hey, and then you're like, like oh, shit. Shit, I could have done that. Hindsight, hindsight 2020. Anyway, yeah, should we continue? Place. Yes, let's. Uh, tweet, tweet. Uh, how do you Twitter followers? Uh, here, Roundhouse, <laughs> California, Jim B. Uh, Jonah, 17684051776840505. Sorry. <laughs> uh, tweet that is belly. a security number. No, no. It's short uh, digits. Twink Belly and Bear Dub Dub Dub. Bear WWW? Yeah. Holy shit. Is that the actual site? Well, there uh, was a site named that at one time. It, yeah. No, no, no. It's still around. It, it's, yeah. it still exists. Okay. You, you oh can my. still log into it if you had a login. Interesting. Uh, we also got a Twitter comment from uh, A Cruz179. Uh, 197421 at Cubs Allowed just finished listening to episode 573 and it brought back so many memories. Uh, there are so many good ones as well as numerous bad ones, but they all made me who I am today. Hashtag proud gay bear. Hmm. Now, to uh, Mr. Cruz, my apologies because I think this feedback came back in the month of October, so it's a little tardy. Um, and I believe 573 was our NCOD episode. Oh, there we go. Um, what is oh. NCOT? Uh, but this month started with uh, 275. Okay. Can, Gary, tell us what how this month uh, went for our shows. Uh, so we did a whole bunch of things. Um, we did a what's going on for the month of October, obviously, to wrap up the past month. Then uh, we took a week off and we did a uh, flashback to 390, which was our historic 2016 election. And that was followed up by 576, which is our historic 2020 election. Now, uh, for those of you that may have missed the flashback, I suggest you listen to it because it's kind of fun to listen to four hosts 
talk about what might be the actual election because we re recorded it before what happened happened. <laughs> mm. And then now the one that we did this year was actually in real time, like was when, that we, when, we, um, when we knew who the president elect is going to be. I, I believe there is one for nice. There you go. Uh, there, there is also one for the, uh, after the, not the 2014. Yeah. 2012, 2012 one. No, not 2012. Oh. The one before that. 2008, 2008, 2008. We did talk about the, uh, election for president Barack Obama. Oh, okay. So oh. we did have one, uh, way back then. That was one of our first shows. Uh, yeah, COL election special night. It was October twenty. It was put on the site October twenty first, two thousand eight. Hmm. Or uh, wait, maybe that isn't it. <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> tell. Um, well, it would have been. It would have been pref right before the election if it went up on the twenty first of October. Yeah. So it would have been a discussion about him being the candidate. Yeah, I, I don't think he had. He had one yet. We were talking about about who we wanted and stuff yeah. like that. So, but yeah. it was right around yeah. that time, two thousand eight, because I do know that we had had a thing with the original host of Comes Out Loud. Um, I'm not saying good, uh, the best host. I'm not saying the worst host. Oh. I'm just saying the original host. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, election special tonight. Sorry. The first thing was a site update. This is the actual podcast. Yeah, I had a bunch Don't of stuff mind. that I was putting on there. Anyways. Yes. Um, and then yeah. uh, two weeks ago, we did a COL 577, which is Let's Talk About Food, in which we talked about Thanksgiving. And mm -hmm. then we all just ate Thanksgiving mm -hmm. here in the mm -hmm. U.S. Um, and last Sunday we did, uh, 578, which is what is gratitude, which is mostly us talking about, um, things that we're thankful for in the concept of what Thanksgiving is meant to be about. So lovely Thank whole potluck of things this month we had mm -hmm. a plethora of goodies and we have a guest coming next week. He is <gasps> excited about that too. I was chatting. With I him last know night. our resident sex therapist, Mr. Ed, will uh, <gasps> be visiting us. Oh! So it's a let's talk Sorry. about sex uh, episode for next week. He's, a, he's also our current current pedestal person. Nice. We're just gonna give him all the accolades and titles. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. Moving on. Let's do this. <laughs> There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got five seconds there. Yeah, every time. So, For every a moment, time. I thought you were voguing, David. I was like, what? Oh, no, it was like, no. Cut. And then cut. Try not to get that. <laughs> There's a difference between copyright better. claim and copyright strike. We get claims, which means it really doesn't do anything. Yeah. This is not saying, hey, you played that song a little too much or, or a little too long. Anyway, so there we go. Hey, you guys remember um, uh, one of our favorite people, uh, Beverly Lee Crusher? Yeah. Yes. Well, here here's a big bowl for the back. Or, oh, or, oh, okay. Or yeah, I have to go on a different device back. in order to open this. Uh, <laughs> that's right. You do. Uh, it is it is connected to his big bowl from the front. Mm -hmm. So we get, so you got a couple gifts of big bowl from the front and big bowl from the back. Yes, Jesus and both of them are joyous. What was that, Gary? Oh, I was just saying that he drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Ah, he can drive a person crazy, but scary is just um. I, I don't I don't know how to put it, but like he's thick. I, he, he's thick, but he's also like cute. Like there's a there's a there's a 
Like an ah, cute like a, sort of thing. Yeah, kind of, but it's well, like he does. I don't think he like. I feel like he knows, but he doesn't know. Like, like maybe he does know how sexy. I mean, it's one of those like, like feelings. Like he's very confident in how he looks, and maybe that's what I'm getting more. Um, and that's maybe what I'm enjoying more. Um. But he's also, you know, fucking adorable, like, and, you know, goofy, which is also kind of, which is also very cute. So, um, yeah. yeah, I like the gifts. I remember, people, I folks, just, if you're ever wanting to see any of these, but like, I haven't seen that and want to know where it is, you can go to our website, comesoutloud.com, find the show, and it's right there linked in the show notes. In fact, mm-hmm. it should be embedded in the show notes, so you can see it right on the page, too. But you can click through so that you can like it on your own Twitter. Mm-hmm. Or retweet it if you want to. Anyway. I do like, like mm. both of them. They're very cute. Yeah. He's just yeah. Adorable. And sexy and yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, let's stop watching that gif before I get hypnotized. Um, <laughs> uh, um, um I have, um, I, speaking of butts, um, this was, this was, um, by Boy Cub Wonder, and it's, um, anyone want to come help me out at work? And it is obviously a selfie of his backside, um, in the restroom at his job, and, you get to see his glorious little butt in what I'm assuming is a thong. So it's called a wide jock. He said in the comments, cause a lot of guys were like, what is that? Ah, so why about thong? I will say like, you know, he would not normally catch my attention. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's a good looking dude. There's nothing wrong. Uh, but this particular photo, I'm like, oh, hello, hi, yes, that's yeah. um, like if good... I was walking past the stall and that is what I saw, I would for sure probably stumble, fall over, or like you know, Wiley mm-hmm. Coyote screech, halt, back up, you know, yeah, um, it'd be like, do you, do you, do you need some assistance? Um, would you like some assistance? <laughs> are you are you serving lunch? Because um, you know, are are you serving dessert? But I'm <laughs> tasty, so you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it. Agreed, Gary. Um, he, it, the picture definitely like, and I will admit, like the jock in and of itself, kind of like it's it's attracting, alluring. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I went to go, like I, I realized, like I wasn't following this guy, so I went to go look at his profile. And I'm like, oh, not bad. He's Again, he's not my usual like type, and I know this sounds bad, but mm-hmm. like he's not my he's not he would be not be one that would normally grab my attention. But this picture, in particular, like totes grabbed my attention, mm-hmm. and um, I w- he will admit he does have a beautiful backside. So, because there's ones where like just a while back where again he's in the stalls at work and. Um, it's um, pajama day, and he's got a, a one of those brief jocks on. Mm-hmm. So very cute, very fun. Yeah, wearing a thong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gary, um, mine is a little uh, non-traditional for me, I guess. Um, but I really, I guffawed out loud when I saw this. I'm calling it new shirts, but the actual caption on this Twitter <laughs> picture says, whoops, my hand slipped. Which, I'm not sure what they mean by that. Like, I think if they drew it, like, that's what they were referring. But I love this. It's a picture of what appears to be a bear and an otter. Um, mm-hmm. And... <laughs> The t-shirts that they are wearing, these are anamorphic uh, representations. The, the What I'm presuming is the bearded bear has a t-shirt that says, I'm full of cum. And the otter has his arms crossed, but his t-shirt says, I came in him. 
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> so this is a. This has been in response to. Um, so there was apparently shirts made around you know the holiday Thanksgiving, and it was it was a in the promotional pictures were a man and a woman, mm -hmm. and it's um, the woman has a shirt that says like I'm stuffed or I'm stuffed with turkey or something like some something like that, and then the guy's shirt kind of says I'm the stuffing kind of thing. It's it's a very weird, like. Well, he even he even obviously, said uh, he even has has a link to uh, uh, where he got the idea, which is a guy and a girl, but one of them says I'm full of cum, and the other says I came in her. So. Yeah. Right. Because it's he posted. He said this blew up way more than I expected. I feel like I should acknowledge that I got this from here, and he's retweeting from four days or two days previous to his tweet where it says draw your ocs in these and so it's the couple and presumably they had blank t-shirts on and then you could make whatever you wanted of the two of them and that's that's mm. where i guess this comes from okay so so the original yeah. shirt says i'm so stuffed with a little turkey um yeah and i actually almost think that the that this might be supposed to be a pregnancy thing by the way she's holding her stomach. possibly and she has and, little yeah. baby Put, yeah, put, put, for put, yeah, and then the Thank shirt you. says, "I made the stuffing." So, yeah, that's what it is. I knew it was something along those lines. It was definitely kind of along the lines of the pregnancy, okay, like announcement bullshit that goes on, where like we're being kind of cute and funny with like, and, and that's kind of what it's saying. Not to be to be perfectly honest, like if she's you know got the baby, like. Right. He came in her like to make the baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, to be a, be, so, to be a little more uh, blatantly obvious in yeah. regards to it. Yeah. Well, I like the, the the rendition that he came up with. I just think it's funny as hell. And then there are people in the comment thread that are like, "I'm getting these shirts and wearing them the next time I see my relatives." <laughs> <laughs> Who needs subtlety at anyways? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, that's. I mean, I hate to say this, it, true though. It's true. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's a cute. Those are cute. That's funny. That's that incredible. is. So it it made me guffaw. I was like, wow. Like, okay, they're just we're we're putting it right out there like that. So, um, which I I mean, if I was to see those at a bear event in the future, I probably wouldn't even blink. Like, I would just mm -hmm. keep on trucking, you know, talking to people, whatever, and. <laughs> So yeah, be one of my pet peeves where a couple wears them. Like, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> cute. <laughs> so what I'm hearing, David, is you want to wear the one that says "I came in him," and you want someone else just randomly to wear the one that says <laughs> the other one, because you're not a couple. So it's not you and Jim wearing. Them. It's just <laughs> that would be funnier at a bear event to see. A bunch of couples that actually wore it, but like, like, like when they walk around, they're not together, so it looks yeah. all mixed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are y'all in a polycule? Anyways, <laughs> now that would be hilarious. Have Cor a polycule just <laughs> just coordinating, <laughs> maybe having multiple shirts on that they wear throughout the day, but it says the same, like the one of the two, <laughs> like if someone's verse. See now, well, we, now we need now 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 we so now we would need a shirt that's that okay so we need at least th two more shirts if not three I don't know we we'd have to figure this out so we would need one that that says uh, uh, I'm covered in cum <laughs> and one that says says on one side on the front I came in him and on the back it says I'm full of cum. I'm thinking about how you could just put a slight twist on it and be like, um, what is it? They came in me. <laughs> and then everyone else can wear a shirt that says I came in him. You know, and then, <laughs> that's more like pass around party bottom ish. You anyways. So there's that. Ooh. Moving on into our links uh, as we wrap up the show. Um, World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Mm. Soccer. 
Do I need to say, say any more? It's, it's great. It's great. They have some really great moments here. I freaking love my druid class ability from the Night Fae, which I press a button, then all of a sudden, sudden over a certain number of seconds, my character does 16 abilities. I don't have to actually press any additional buttons, just the one, and 16 things happen. Happen in a row. Boom, 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 boom. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And they've got some really cute characters. They got, because this is Shadowlands, basically the place where dead people go. Go. We get to see some, some of those dead people again. It's, it's delightful. I did not oh. enjoy the first zone. I will say this. Bastion mm. was boring. Maldraxxus was kind of cool. Cool. The Night Fae, uh, I, 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 I adore them. Reverend Dref was pretty cool as well. Bastion? <laughs> it, it was not a good start. I don't know. I think there are some people who like Bastion. I, I don't like Bastion at all. Anyways, that's beside the point. Okay. Torg, as I found, actually was kind of pleasant. Anyway, mm -hmm. moving on. Since you guys have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Exactly. But one okay. thing that one thing that that is is <laughs> pretty good. I haven't got a chance. I haven't really felt the need to watch it. But Gary, what are you recommending this week? Or this oh my god the mandalorian season two on disney plus episode five <laughs> just happened if you're not on the internet if you're not on youtube and you don't know what happened to this past episode i don't know what to tell you like big shit went down uh <laughs> lots of people got to see a long-awaited character and then another big piece kind of fell into place that has been waited upon since like the very first episode of the whole season and i knew that this is going to happen this is not a spoiler well it is in a way i'm not going to say but <laughs> that my shirt my sweatshirt that you can't see very well um is an oh is an homage to the mandalorian um, it looks like cross stitch and it's silk screen and it says, What child is this? And it is the child, Aww. Baby Yoda. Aww. Right. Aww. Everyone Aww. has been calling the child Baby Yoda. However, officially in the series, the character has always been called the child until this episode because we learned the actual name of the child. <gasps> we learned the name? Yes, the child has had a name since the very beginning. Bob Iger said in an interview on camera that he was told the name of the child before the series was produced. So he's known this entire time, and he said that he's hoping that nobody comes for him <laughs> to try to reveal the name of the child. And everybody lost their shit, and they just started calling the child Baby Yoda. And like, and some people are even saying online, they're still going to call it Baby Yoda and not the actual name. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like... Did, well, did they did you. they at least give it give a name to the species? No. So that's why they probably call it Beta Yoda. They're just not calling it by its name. They're calling it by the the quote unquote species, which is a Yoda. Well, no, no, no. Until right, until <laughs> like like what they know now. of. <laughs> there's only one other of the species. Right, right, right. But Jeff, my point is, some people are saying they're still going to call it Baby Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no. they're gonna they're not gonna properly recognize the name of the character. So I'm like, okay, well, that's on mm. you, but yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I really enjoyed this particular episode. Um, I skipped the last episode and that's another topic for another show on another day. Um, and then the ep two episodes ago was really good. So like, it's going on this like kind of ride where like, you know, some episodes are really good. Other ones, I don't want to call them filler, but they're the ones that get you from point A to point thing, B. Yeah. Plot to plot, so to speak. So, mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. like traveling so, in D and D. It's the b most boring part of the uh, adventure. Yeah, I mean, you have to. You have to. Sometimes you have to stop. You have to rest. You have to repair. You have to, you know, resupply. Blah blah blah. So um, when you when when you're doing a traveling adventure kind of thing. So I'm actually uh, I'm very pleased with how the most recent episode went. Um, a long-awaited 
presumed character did appear as everyone had uh, thought. And I watched a YouTube channel in which someone spoiled the plot of the episode. And in, in their follow-up episode, they did say this week that they were contacted by Disney and was told to not ever do that again. And I was Ooh. like, really? Because most of the people speculate the fuck out of things. And Secret this one assist. apparently really spilled the real tea. And Disney was like, don't do that. Like, they didn't shut them down. <laughs> I don't think they gave them a cease and desist. They did not have to take their video down. But they were just, I think they got They a, were just they being like, like bad fan. <laughs> in in yeah. the, if, uh, the, the newspaper on the nose uh, yeah. uh, sort of thing. Okay. Hey, guess what, folks? That's the end of the show. <gasps> wow. It's kind of short, isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, plenty of ways to contact us. You can pop over to our YouTube channel or, or website, cupsoutloud.com. Uh, email us at cupsoutloud at gmail.com. You leave us voicemail, sex or otherwise at 361 we'll talk. That's 361 265 8255. I just realized that the National uh, Suicide Prevention Hotline. Uses the same last four digits as our as our number. I can't remember what that is. I think it's like one eight hundred. I don't remember the three three numbers. Mm. And then then it's talk. So eight two five five. I thought that was kind of cool. Mm. And hey, National Suicide mm. Prevention Hotline. If you need it mm -hmm. or know somebody who does, please find the actual it's number. One eight hundred. It's 1-800-273-8255 or 1-800-273-TALK. See? Very important number to know. And it just happens that we share four digits. Yeah, we're also very social media outlets on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. That comes out loud in the appropriate place of the URL. Uh, you can join our entourage chat at Telegram at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col there you can get stream notifications when i'm streaming strapalance content and D, D, as well as when we're streaming these shows uh you can also find out when we're streaming these shows through our google calendar at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col we do have some plans especially with next week with uh uh mr angelini cook um and we also have merchandise such as a comes out loud first logo uh t-shirt that i have or a mm -hmm. uh kink is my foreplay shirt in the in this case the leather edition uh shirt we have them in different styles and colors so these aren't the only ones um you can do find all that at zazzle to dazzle.com slash cups out loud uh, you can also become a patreon patreon.com slash cups out loud or uh send us uh if you just want to send us some cash see if we can get some upgrades to, to help us out um such as i'm looking possibly getting a green screen maybe some of the mobile equipment for gary and demon who knows we'll find out you can find all that out today uh, you can send us that money at, at paypal.me slash cubs out loud uh, you can rate us on Apple Podcasts, subscribe to us through Google Play Podcast, Spotify, or on Amazon and Audible. You find me anywhere in the internet. It says box set, box puppy, box cup, box something or other. And on Twitch, where I'm, that's where I'm actually streaming all my gaming stuff, although I export it all to YouTube. That comes out loud in general on YouTube. You can find me on Twitch at Windgem, W Y N D G E M. Damon. Um, if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as Theater Cub 79 on most bear related sites or on Facebook. Um, or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73, including the cute cubby that started chatting with me on W Bear. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Is he local? Uh, a couple hours. You know, but <laughs> hey, he started checking my stuff out and like I was like, oh, hi, you know, and people look at your pictures and you can see that. And then he came back and looked again and then he liked some of them. And I was like, oh, OK. Huh? So I decided to initiate conversation. I was like, hey, thanks for liking my pictures. You're cute. Mm -hmm. So, you know, by the way, just a little Disney, flirting. By the way, Bobby, Disney Plus is worth it. Even if you get it for like a month. Or if you uh, happen to know somebody who's willing to share their like account with you, um, is also a possibility. So, 
<laughs> and, and if you like Hulu, you can get it all packaged together. You get ESPN Plus too, but uh, it's not much of a difference. In any case, with that, say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Ciao for now. <laughs>